What's up guys? Thanks for coming to Gaming Canada. Now today I have a video specifically for non-custom firmware users of 11.3. So if you have a stock Nintendo 2DS, 3DS, old 3DS, XL, whatever it is, if you have a stock one that you have not soft modded and you have upgraded to 11.3, then I want you to watch this video because it's going to tell you everything you can and cannot do on the firmware 11.3. I'm going to cover FBI, CIAs, free shop, downgrading, homebrew, emulators, and custom themes. So if that sounds like what you're interested in and you don't have a custom firmware unit and you still want to get the most out of it in the meantime, go ahead and keep watching. So our first question is, can I install FBI on 11.3 and use it to install apps to the home menu? Now this is the most common question that I get for non-custom firmware users. So basically, I don't really want to run over all the answers, or like all the reasons why you can't do the things in this guide. I'm just going to straight up tell you if you can or cannot do them. Okay? So essentially, FBI, can you install it? Yes or no? No. I'm sorry. You cannot get FBI on 11.3 if you don't have custom firmware. So on to the next question. Can I install and use the free shop? Now this is another really, really common question I get. How do I install the free shop on 11.3? Help me, I updated. How do I get the free shop? Again, guys, you're not going to like the answer. It's a big old no. It's, you cannot get the free shop. I'm terribly sorry, guys. The next one, can I install CIA tickets with CI Angel and download free eShop games. So essentially a ticket is almost like a registration, almost like a license to show that you've purchased a product from the eShop. And so you could use CIA Angel in the past to download tickets and this would allow your console to trick the Nintendo eShop into thinking you had already purchased eShop games and then that would allow you to re-download them onto your console and get them for free. And so can you do this on 11.3? No, sorry guys, you need custom firmware to do things like that to get tickets on. Next question. Can I install custom firmware, which is Luma 3DS and ARM 9 loader hacks? Basically, is it possible to soft mod my 3DS or my 2DS if it's already on 11.3? And guys, this is something that we're hoping in the future to be able to get around, but at the moment, it's a big old no. You cannot get Luma 3DS if you've already updated to 11.3. So, next question. Can I downgrade back to 11.2? And so, essentially, you'd think if you could downgrade back to 11.2, then you could go ahead and install custom firmware, which sounds all well and good, but I'm really, really sorry again, guys. It's a big old no. You cannot downgrade from 11.3. The last update, this 11.3 update, killed downgrading currently. So, as of February, this is the very end of February, there's still currently no way to downgrade from 11.3. Last question here, can I install a hard mod, which is a USB port that connects directly into the NAND of your 3DS, which would allow you to write firmware onto it and also dump your firmware off of it essentially allowing you to install any version of firmware that you want. So the first thing that people are thinking when they've got 11.3 is, oh, I've already updated to 11.3. I can just stick a USB port in there and flash the NAND and get 11.2 back on there so I can go back and install Luma 3DS and ARM, loader, ARM 9 loader hacks. And this all sounds well and good, but unfortunately, it's a big old no. So basically, when this 11.3 update comes out, it writes over something on the 3DS that needs you to have the latest firmware 
to run. So essentially, if you went back and tried to reinstall 11.2 with a hard mod, I would believe that you would either brick or, well, essentially you would brick because nothing would happen. The, the system would try to load and it would see that it's got 11.2 and it would need 11.3 and it's just not going to load. So that is pretty crappy. The good thing about this, there's a bright size coming. So this hard mod in the future, very near future, might become the way to downgrade 11.3 back to 11.2. So essentially, if boot 9 ROM gets hacked, pray, pray for it, then we'll be able to use SIG hacks, which is signature hacks, which is essentially going to be a replacement for ARM9 loader hacks, and it's going to be super, super easy. It'll be a boot from the homebrew launcher, and boom, five seconds later, you're going to have FBI installed and all, all that stuff. It's essentially going to make homebrewing really, really easy but it's not going to be able to take 11.3 and bring it back to 11.2 without a hard mod. So Signature Hacks is not going to let us soft mod 11.3s, but it will allow us to hard mod 11.3s and take them back to 11.2 and soft mod them then. So we look out for Signature Hacks in the future, but currently at the moment, sorry, the hard mod option is not the way to go. Now, I know this sounds like a lot of no's and you guys probably got no's on all the things you wanted to do on 11.3, but there is good news. There is some stuff we can do on 11.3 and it's actually some pretty significant stuff and you'd be pretty darn happy even if you updated to still be able to do this stuff. So let me show you what that is. All right guys, so just what can you do with a non-custom firmware at 11.3 device. And essentially the answer is some pretty cool stuff. Go ahead and research something called Sound Hacks, and Sound Hacks is gonna allow you to load up the Homebrew Launcher. And the Homebrew Launcher is gonna allow you to run 3DSX files from your SD card. And these files are essentially little programs that can be booted through Homebrew Launcher on your 3DS. Now these programs could include CHMM, which essentially allows you to install custom themes from the internet. You download a theme onto your SD card and then go into CHMM and go ahead and install it and you've got as many custom themes as you want. You can even make your own custom themes and install them, but I don't recommend that right off the bat. And so since we have access to the SD card, essentially we can load up emulators. And so we put ROMs on the SD card and we get 3DSX files of the emulators we want, load those up with Homebrew Launcher, and boom, we start playing our ROMs. Easy as that. So last but not least, which I think is a pretty significant thing that you can do, is use JK, SMK, or other save managers to edit or back up your saves. This means putting Pokemon into the game that you don't have, finishing games by injecting complete saves, pulling one save off of one cartridge and putting it onto another cartridge if you are so inclined. Uh, this is some pretty next level stuff and it was actually one of the first things that kind of got modded on the original Nintendo DS was being able to edit your Pokemon with Homebrew. Pretty darn cool. So I hope this was useful. I hope you guys figured out what you can and cannot do on a non-custom firmware at 11.3. If you have any questions, go down to the comments, throw them down, I'd love to answer them. Essentially, in the near, near future, we might be able to hard mod 11.3s and bring them back to 11.2 with signature hacks that I was talking about and that's potentially in the near future from now to the next year and potentially in that time as well but not likely is finding a soft mod exploit that's going to allow us to soft mod 11.3s with Luma and ARM9 etc. Just don't get your hopes up for that but do get your hopes up for signature hacks because that'll be pretty cool. I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for coming to Gaming Canada with me.